This is a combinatoric question. The question is, given these digits, and we can only use these digits, how many four-digit numbers can be formed using only these digits? So the first part is just that question. And the second part is the same question, but now the repetition of digits is not allowed. And so what that means is that in the first part, it is allowed. So we can have a four-digit number that says 1333 three, three, or 5555. Five, five, five. Systematic listing is a good beginning. But now let's apply a common trick in combinatorics, which is the following. Instead of counting all of them, let's pretend to find just one and see how many choices we had to make when we generated that one option. So suppose we have these five different digits and we want to create a four digit number but well, let's let's go to the first uh, decimal place here how many how many choices do we have how many options do we have we have five digits to choose from each five is allowed so we have five choices here. when we move on to the second slot there is no restriction so we have the same five options and the same five options for the third one and the same five options for the fourth one and these choices are completely independent, which means we can actually multiply these. So this is a lot of cases, right? This is 5 to the 4th power, 625. We can still list this, but it would be uncomfortable. Okay, so now let's see part B. So we got these four slots for the four digits. And here are the available digits, five of them. So we have five options for the first digit, and we don't know what, but we picked something. Let's say we picked the number three. Then, when we're generating this number and we're selecting the second digit, that number that, that we picked here, in our example three, is no longer an option. So we don't have five digits to work with. We, we have to eliminate the one that was already used once, and that means we have four. And then we move on to the next one, and now two digits are already used, so they are not allowed, so we are down to three options to choose from and for the last one there is only two options what's interesting here is that the second choice is not independent of the first choice for example if we pick three for the first then the second one we cannot pick three but no matter what we picked in the first one the number of choices is the same and in that sense it's complete these choices are independent so again we just we can just multiply these uh, I would match them 5 times 2, that's a 10, so it's 120. So 625 many 4-digit numbers, among which 120 with all digits different. Thank you for watching.